Unit Three, Shivaji's Lion. Let us read what happened to Tanaji Malusare, who was so devoted to his motherland that he did not hesitate from sacrificing his life for his country and his king. Tanaji Malusare, a resident of a small town called Umarat, was Shivaji's good friend. Both of them had grown up together and had learned to fight together. Tanaji was so brave that Shivaji called him Simha, Lion. Tanaji was a master strategist. He had fought and planned many battles standing beside his friend Shivaji. Both of them wanted to end the Mughal rule. On the day of Tanaji's son's marriage, all of Umarat was in celebration. The whole town was decorated. People were dressed in their best clothes. There was festivity in the air, and people were running here and there, finalizing the last-minute arrangements. Suddenly, the lookout sentry saw an unexpected messenger galloping down the lane on his horse. We are not expecting any messages. Then, why has the messenger come? The lookout sentry thought worriedly as he waited for the messenger to reach him. The messenger stopped in the front of the lookout and, without getting off his horse, he said, "Where is Tanaji? I have an urgent message from Shivaji for him." "I will take you to him," replied the lookout. The lookout took the messenger to Tanaji's home. He called out from outside, "Sir!" Tanaji was busy finalizing the marriage preparations with his wife. Tanaji asked. Who is there? A messenger from Shivaji has come. The lookout replied. Come inside, said Tanaji. The messenger came in and bowed to Tanaji and his wife. Tanaji said, Welcome. What is the message from Shivaji? Raji wants you at Raigarh immediately. The messenger replied. Tanaji understood the seriousness of the message. Shivaji knew it was the day of Tanaji's son's wedding. He would not call for his friend unless the matter was extremely serious. Tanaji looked at his wife and said, "Something serious has happened. I have to go. Postpone the wedding." I will come back as soon as I can. Tanaji's wife did not like this, but she too understood the importance of the message. She knew her duty. She bowed down before Tanaji. Tanaji changed into his armor and buckled on his sword. His wife bid farewell to him with tears in her eyes. He stepped out of his house and ordered his men to get ready. His men were shocked to see Tanaji ready for battle, but all of them were hardened men. They knew their duty and they understood the significance of the messenger at that time. Within minutes, Tanaji's men were beside him, ready to accompany him. The army of horsemen rode fast and straight to Raigarh. They did not stop on the way. On reaching Raigarh, Tanaji walked straight into Shivaji's room. Nobody stopped him. Everybody knew about the friendship Tanaji and Shivaji shared. Raje, I have come as you commanded," said Tanaji. Bowing before Shivaji, 
ओ सिंहा यू हैव कम एक्सक्लेम्ड शिवाजी सेइंग दिस ही हग्ड तानाजी आई एम सो सॉरी टू कॉल यू ऑन दिस डे एट सच अ शॉर्ट नोटिस वी हैव टू अर्जेंटली कैप्चर कोंदना फोर्ट सेड शिवाजी उदय सिंह राठौर इज इन कमांड ऑफ द फोर्ट आई हैव गिवन इट अ लॉट ऑफ थॉट बट आई हैव नॉट बीन एबल टू फाइंड अ वे टू कैप्चर द फोर्ट यू आर माई बेस्ट स्ट्रेटेजिस्ट कैन यू सी अ वे इन द कोंदना फोर्ट वॉज अंडर द कंट्रोल ऑफ द मुगल फोर्सेज इट हैड गेट्स ऑन इट्स थ्री साइड्स एंड एन इम्पोजिंग क्लिफ ऑन द अदर द थ्री गेट्स व हेवली गार्डेड अटैकिंग दीज गेट्स वॉज श्योर टू कॉज अ हैवी लॉस ऑफ मैन तानाजी स्टडीड द मैप ऑफ द फोर्ट फॉर सम टाइम देन ही स्पोक द फोर्ट इज गार्डेड ऑन थ्री साइड्स सो वी विल अटैक फ्रॉम द फोर्थ साइड यू आर प्लानिंग टू क्लाइंब द रॉक दैट इज सुसाइड दे विल सी यू क्लाइंबिंग एंड किल एट द लेजर एक्सक्लेम्ड शिवाजी नो राजे I am not planning that. I have something else in mind," replied Tanaji. "A big force cannot climb the rock, but few of us can do it without any one noticing us. It can succeed, but it will not be easy," said Shivaji thoughtfully. "It is difficult, but not impossible." I think that it is possible with the right precautions and preparations. Well, go ahead and make the necessary preparations. Tanaji went to his men and then shared his plans. They went through the plan and after discussions set about executing the plan. With everything ready, Tanaji decided to attack on a moonless night. He called his men to go about according to their plan. Tonight nothing is visible, so they will not see us coming. We have to approach the fort in absolute silence. Few of you come with me. We will try to scale the rock. Rest of you wait at Kalyan Gate and I will throw it open for you. Said Tanaji Tanaji and his men set out towards the fort in silence and shadows when they reached the precipice Tanaji and his men started climbing the rock they reached the top unhurt then they started to take the guards down one by one in silence within minutes most of the guards were dead but One of them was able to slip and raise an alarm. Uday Singh and his sons were alerted. They quickly ordered the war elephants to be released. By this time, Tanaji's men had opened the gate. In the fierce battle that ensued, Uday Singh's son and elephant were killed. Many of the Tanaji's men were also killed. The message of the death of his sons reached Uday Singh. He rushed into the battle with renewed strength. Tanaji, you cannot escape me. You will die for this. Uday Singh bellowed as he attacked Tanaji. We will see about that. cried tanaji both tanaji and uday singh were expert swordsmen the battle between them was feared logged in a battle of life and death both were tired and bleeding uday singh found an opening and he took advantage by plunging his sword straight through tanaji's chest 
Uday Singh looked down and saw blood trickling down his chest. Tanaji had also taken advantage of the opening. Both of them collapsed and died. With the death of Uday Singh and his sons, the Mughals surrendered. The battle was won. Kondana Fort once again belonged to the Marathas. Tanaji's men returned to Shivaji and informed him about the success. Raja, the fort has been captured. Where is Tanaji? Shivaji anxiously inquired. He is dead, they replied. The fort is taken, but I have lost my line. A memorial to Tanaji stands on the spot where he fell. It is called Simhagar, the lion's fort.